Hi, it's Michelle Eaton here from Local Business Web School. And today I'm going to have a quick look at how to create an email signature in Gmail. So here we are in Gmail and what we do is we come up to the little cog circle in the top right corner, which is our settings and we click there and we come down to settings and here we're in the general tab. If we scroll down to where it says signature in here in this drop down box we've got all emails we've set up on this account so I'm going to choose the inquiries at birminghamhairdressers.co.uk and in this area here is where we're going to put our signature so in here I've put in my name my website address and telephone number I've paused it so you didn't have to see me type um, now we can pick the name, we can change colours and here we can copy this website address and click the little link and so that will now become a hyperlink that will go to the website address. You can change the text here if you want to but I leave it um, as the full link just in case the recipient isn't using HTML in their email if they're using plain text for their emails they'll still see that full link and be able to copy and paste to get over to the website and if we want to we can put an email address or any other information that, that we might want another thing we can do is put in an image so if we come over to Google, type in Picasa, P-I-C-A-S-A, -A, and we come to Picasa Web Albums, free photo sharing from Google. And here you can see we're already signed in. It's linked to our Google account. So we simply come up to Upload, select Photos, my computer. I'll select this small Apple icon here. Open. Obviously you wouldn't be sending an Apple, you'd want a company logo or something a little bit more professional. So now right click the image and we copy the image URL and we come back over to our signature box and we click insert image and then we control V paste the image URL in the box and there we can see a preview so we'll OK that and now that's attached into our signature so that gives you a, a basic idea of the different things you can do and we'll scroll down save changes so if we come over and click compose by default it's selected the Birmingham hairdressers at gmail.com email address if you want to change those settings you can do that in settings so I'm going to select the one we just set up, which is inquiries at birminghamhairdressers.co.uk and there you can see the signature that will be at the end of each email that I send from this particular email account. So I hope that's been helpful for you. and You can have a little play and see what works best for your particular business. You don't want too much in there, so just choose the most relevant. Thanks very much for watching and I hope to speak to you soon.